A global epidemic now spreading fastest across Europe, with the UK's infection rate about to rise to dangerous levels, as the Prime Minister, flanked by his medical and scientific advisers, conceded. Without drastic action, cases could double every five or six days. So we're all being asked to fundamentally change how we live and work. And if anyone in your household has a fever or persistent cough, everyone living with you is being asked to stay at home for 14 days. That means that if possible, you should not go out even to buy food or essentials other than for exercise, and in that case, at a safe distance from others. If necessary, you should ask for help from others for your daily necessities. And even if we're not sick, we're being urged to stay away from people. Now is the time for everyone to stop non-essential contact with others and to stop all unnecessary travel. We need people to start working from home where they possibly can. And you should avoid pubs, clubs, theatres and other such social venues. This shunning of social contact is most urgent, the PM said, for those over 70, pregnant women and the frail. And there will be special measures for the very frail. In a few days' time, by this coming weekend, it will be necessary to go further and to ensure that those with the most serious health conditions are largely shielded from contact, from social contact, for around 12 weeks. Johnson also took steps to call a halt to all big leisure events, though schools are not being closed yet. The chief medical officer explained why these draconian measures are coming now. In this country, this disease is now accelerating up the curve, but it is still at a low level, but it will accelerate up now really quite rapidly. So this is going to go on for some time, and I think we should not be un under any illusions that if we just do this for a couple of weeks, that is sufficient. This is going to have to be a prolonged uh, period. Clearly what we're announcing today is a very substantial change in the way that we want people to li live their lives. And uh, I can't remember anything like it in, uh, in my lifetime. I don't think there's really been anything like it in, uh, in, in peacetime. I asked one of the government's advisers on how diseases spread, how long we would be living with these constraints. Our best estimates are these measures will be successful at word is suppressing transmission. If they're lifted, and when they're lifted, transmission is likely to bounce back. Now there may be in time other approaches we can take to keep case numbers low, but we are going to be living with this virus really this year, probably next year, until we have a vaccine. Neil Ferguson's research was warning that unless we all isolate, as the Prime Minister urges, the NHS could collapse and there would be 250,000 deaths. And Neil Ferguson also told me that unless we do what the Prime Minister says in just three weeks, Boris Johnson may well be back here announcing criminal sanctions against those breaking what is in effect a curfew. Robert Peston, News at 10.